Hey, Matt, we, we really haven't had a chance to talk to you since last season. I was just curious, with Lane Kiffin getting this job, how much did that have to do with you deciding to come back? Because there was talk out there that you may have been considering transferring and things like that. Uh, did Kiffin play a part in you deciding you were going to come back and battle for this job? Uh, I was never going to leave. Um, I mean, Kiffin, Kiffin was a big, you know, cherry on top for me personally. But uh, as far as like transferring, was it ever in my mind? Of course, it was in my mind. But, you know, I didn't want to have to deal with all that extra stuff and everything that came with that. And like, I like I knew what I had in front of me. I know what I could do better. And I like, um, I knew what I where I went wrong last year. All right, Neil, go ahead. I'll follow up on that, Matt. Where where do you think it went wrong last year? You said you, you kind of knew where you made mistakes yeah. or whatever. Could you yeah. elaborate on that? Yeah, so, I mean, this year, I I thought I was working hard last year. I thought I was. And, you know, doing what we had to do, what, what was uh, – like we were supposed to do the extra stuff. We're, we're the quarterbacks are supposed. They're supposed to be the last ones to leave. They're supposed to be the first ones. And I think as a unit, we've done a hell of a job this year, by far. This is the hardest I've ever worked since since I was trying to earn a scholarship. All right, uh, Parrish, go ahead. At uh... What is this competition like? Is it close? I mean, we've, we've heard uh, Coach Kiffin tell us Monday that, that you and John Rice were a little bit ahead. What, what is your view of the competition? And has anyone surprised you in the competition? Um, you know, we're really not – we really try not to keep it, like, going against each other. We really try to uh, focus on ourselves and get better on ourselves and what we need to work on as a group mentally. But like personally, it would be like one day, oh, I messed up my, my shirt, my drops. I messed up my pocket movement. And then JR would be the same thing. And uh, it would be finishing the throw. So like those three things and just taking them out to practice and applying it from the meetings to the practice, that's where we're taking the steps forward. And as far as like getting ahead, we're meeting, we're meeting on a, as a unit at 5.30, 5.45 in the morning by ourselves. Like it's just it just started with us, and then it, it was this ripple effect throughout the whole uh, quarterback room. Then everybody started do, started doing it, and then it's just a normal thing now. So it's like little things like that. I think is good is what's going to make the difference. Sorry, right, Nick, go ahead. Matt, this is your third offensive coordinator in three years, third scheme in three years. Is there anything? different about this scheme that might take advantage of your skills more or is it all just kind of terminology is different but the plays are the same uh definitely different terminology of course different um the reason we do things is different but i think what we could take away from this year is that we understand why we're doing what we're doing as a quarterback like we know why we're reading the single side safety we know why we're reading the C-gap. We know why when they go a three down, we have to read the C-gap. So just having an understanding of why we're doing things and then why they're calling the plays and where the coaches want the ball, I think that's what's, that's what's so good about this system, in my opinion. All right, David Johnson, go ahead. Yeah, Matt, uh, I just want your early impressions on – Kenny Yaboa at the tight end spot, and also what you're seeing out of, out of the group of wide receivers. Kenny, Kenny's been making a huge jump. He's, uh, he's really been, uh, been being a leader and taking that whole group with him. And that's like, that's a big thing is getting leaders in each room. And it's just, it doesn't have to be one person. It doesn't have to be the senior. It could be anybody in that room. And I think uh, the older guys have done a good job of, of doing that. And as, as a unit, as a receivers group, I think, Lately, we've been getting uh, getting the ball rolling. Uh, I think after the OTAs, we got to feel 
after the OTAs is when we really started putting it together. Neil, go ahead. Yeah, Matt, this is going to sound like a trick question. I don't mean for it to be. Um, some of the national media sort of have already kind of coronated John Rice a little bit. You've been down that road where you started a season as the guy. Does it does that motivate you at all that that people sort of have already just sort of assumed that that it's his job? Um, I don't really pay attention to any of that. You know, I worry about myself when it comes to that kind of stuff. You know, just focus on myself. It's not a competition. I'm competing with myself. All right, Parrish, go ahead. Hey, Matt, uh, going back to a question or two ago, you were talking about the, the ease in understanding this offense and knowing why you're making certain reads, doing certain things. Was it difficult to understand why you were doing those things last year? It's not that it was difficult. We just we – just, we weren't taught – why like we weren't taught we weren't taught in depth of what we are what we are doing now all right nick uh, go ahead nick you're muted <laughs> that's my bad I, I i muted him after he unmuted himself am i good now yeah Matt, I'm sure you've got a lot of friends back west who were affected by the Pac-12 cancellation. Just kind of what's it been like for you watching what was happening out there and how difficult is you for just dealing with this situation? Yeah, it's, been, it's been crazy, honestly. This is a crazy time we're living in right now. And uh, I know the west coast is way different from the east coast and the south. But um, you know, I feel for those guys that, that got to wait till the spring and then it's got to – roll over back into the fall, I think. I don't know how that's going to work, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm happy we get to play, and I know that uh, our, our, our team is as well, and we're very excited to get out there. We'll go to David Johnson. Matt, um, I guess the door has kind of been left open that this could result in being – a two quarterback system, and you guys got a little taste of that last year. Uh, how you how you would feel about that if that's how it worked out? Whatever it takes to win doesn't does not matter. All right, we'll go back to Nate. Matt, it kind of seems like you took more of a responsibility on your own shoulders to kind of just try to take that leap, learn the stuff this year. What kind of spawned that, just kind of realizing that maybe you weren't working as hard as you thought you were? Well, shoot. I mean, for me personally, it wasn't working. I wasn't, I wasn't successful last year. Why? You know, that, that's what I asked myself. I was asking myself, why? Why wasn't this working? What did I do wrong? And, you know, it all came down to the, with my work ethic there. And, then, you know, it takes a lot of sacrifices when you – when you realize you you you, you got to do what you got to do, but at the end, it's it's not a sacrifice. It's a it's an investment for what you're doing in the future. And I think, as honestly, like the team as a whole has taken a big leap from 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 last year to this year, as far as that goes. <clears throat> All right, then we'll go to Parish. Hey, Matt, there have been a lot of uh, images on social media of uh, large gatherings, people without masks, a lot of them college students. Uh, you know, what do you think when you see those? Are you confident that you and your teammates can stay out of situations and stay safe? You know, I, I feel like we're very, I'm very confident in what we're doing here. Um, you know, the, the, uh, all the staff, uh, everybody, the, the, um, the doctors, they've all done a great job of, you know, keeping us healthy, making sure we're where we, we are where we need to be and have what we need to have. And uh, as far as just health-wise, just being a step ahead of that. So, you know, very thankful for those guys in the training room, you know, laying there, doing everything they can for us. And, you know, you can't, you can't stop, you know, uh, like a teammate just going on a date, just going to dinner 
like it, you, it's it's inevitable but you know hopefully that person is going to be smart wear a mask and you know just stay away